Hello guys and welcome back to Dynasty Playing on Domains. So what we are doing this episode is uh, a little bit of a world tour actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. And um, for the world tour we are going to go into creative as we just did. So the first thing I want to take a look at is actually the villager breeder that we met uh, that we've been working on the last couple of episodes. Because uh, I noticed something while I was up here earlier and walled up a little bit here, and that is we have gotten a couple of new villagers here. We have a labra librarian that's uh, kind of cool. Uh, we have. Farmer, we have a baby in here. Look at that, huh? He's so cute. He's so small. So small, he's so cute. I love him. Um, so, yeah, we got these. And these two are the parents, as far as I know. Um, and hopefully, they will make more babies, I hope. Um, so, yeah, that is the first look on things here. I just want to take a look here and see if maybe there is another baby somewhere. Hopefully there will be, but uh, I don't think so. Yeah. No, nope, no other babies, but uh, that's all right. Uh, what we're gonna do real quick before we start the world tour is we are gonna fetch our doors. And uh, we're just going to go doors here, right? I think we're gonna go here. So many doors as possible. Oh, hello baby. Baby villager. You're kind of in the way. Here, move. Thank you. And a couple right here. I think would be good. Now that will make them believe that there's a uh, few more houses here than there actually is, I think. Uh, I'm not the best at uh, villager breeding, so if I am wrong, do correct me. But uh, I do believe this is how it works. Uh, yeah, got it. Got some more doors. Now, hopefully, if he goes in here, they will be happy and try to make a baby. Um, let's actually place that one right there, so that they may um, get happy soon. Please, please make a baby for me. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, of course. There is the librarian. He's good. Um, and then we have. Oh, he's all grown up. He's a cleric. Okay, that is good to know. Then we can. Uh, oh, then we can kind of. Um, oh. You know what we should do right here, just because they they're able to climb up here. Uh, we should just do that, because then they won't be able to jump up here and uh, accidentally fall off or anything like that. So I think we're just gonna go like this for now, I'm gonna, we're gonna build this a little bit better in the future of course, but, uh, right now I think this is good, are they, they're making another baby, I wanna see it. Go on, make a baby. Go on. Are you gonna make a baby soon? I can stand over here and give you some privacy. Just do it. You're kissing. You're hugging. Make a baby. Make a baby. Make a baby. 
Alright, they're not gonna make a baby. We're just gonna go like this and go like this and hold down. Whee! Okay, so this is spawn point. This is where we spawned. I think we actually did spawn around here. Uh, or maybe a little bit down here. I'm not entirely sure exactly where we spawned, but this is the spawn area at least. And what we've done here is actually not a lot. Uh, we, um, we've been down mining um, to get materials for the iron farm, which we are currently building. And um, this is the area we've been mining down here, plus some ways that's been going here. Uh, some caves. So that's a little bit of um, mining. And then we set up these two uh, hidey holes uh, to kind of hide and protect the villagers that's up there now. Uh, except one didn't want to go in here, so he was trapped inside of this building, which which ju is just it, one super smart way. It's nothing else in here. And um, I don't intend to build anything else. Not, not right now. I'm probably going to build a little shack for the wall download. Um, and... Um, so you, if you do decide to download this world, uh, you will have um, access to food and all of my equipment that I have right here. Um, and also, this is for being able to be more than one player on the world and still be able to sleep. Uh, let's say that you have two characters or two accounts, and uh, one account is AFK Fishing. Um, then I can still do other things with the other account, including sleeping, and um, that's a little bit of a win. Why, why is this here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear up a little bit of stuff before the world download, so it's not gonna be so messy and redstoney from time to time. And here, this is our Nether. Um, we have a railway going to the main base. Um, as I am here, let me grab a couple of mine carts so we can throw inside of there for you guys. Um, taking this railway will take us to uh, the main base, like I said. Uh, I need to uh, fix a few minor things on this railway, but um, just to make sure that uh, Pigman can spawn on the rails. Um, so that's something we are going to get to uh, before the world download, download as well. I do have the materials. Uh, I just need to actually just do it, you know? So we have this railway, which is... It's gonna take us quite a way, and uh, that's not a problem at all. It's um, it's fun to have things to do, and um, these are the materials we're gonna be using on the railway. So, um, well, not everything, but most of it. And let's first take a look at main base before we go to, to the town that we are making and the way to the end. I have not made an end render, so you're not gonna have um, that one can go. So you're not gonna have that kind of experience points uh, far and farm here, not yet at least. Here is cow, so if you are in need of food, just go ahead and kill some. There's also wheat in this chest, so you can just go ahead and uh, um, feed them breed them, and uh, get more cows. And down here, I am working on another type of project, which is to... Um, I'm gonna have... have to move two 
sheeps over here, two sheeps over here, and we're gonna fill all of these with sheeps with different type of color. We just need to get to it. So, that's this building. Um, the building that is right here uh, is just a farm with glass over it. Uh, and uh, it works pretty good. Um, we have it one like this, one like that, one like this, one like that, because uh, having it in one row, every other row, uh, actually makes them grow faster. So that's why my all my wheat farms and potatoes and whatnot is always going to be like this. Uh, it grows faster and uh, it's better. And this is the main house in the base. In here we just have some random storage. Um, like I said, random. Nice. I didn't know I had that. Now I do. And then we have the upper floor, which is my main bedroom. I try to make it look a little bit beautiful, uh, but I'm not that good of a decorator. So it's just a little bit random, um, which is fine. And then here we have the enchantment room. Uh, I'm probably going to be moving this, but we do have a lot of lapis here. We have um, we have a few books um, and some pickaxes because why not? And I don't think th yeah that one's empty. Good. And up here we got nothing. I just wanted to have a tall building, um, and I didn't know what to put up there so it's just nothing. Then we can take a look in the basement. Now the basement is a lot better in my opinion. Right here, this is my storage area. It's not finished at all. Uh, we're going to have trapped chests going here uh, and uh, kind of filling up every single space that we can with chests. But um. I haven't done anything here for quite some time because we've been working on another project which we are going to be looking at as well. And uh, this is my super smeltery in my main base. Here we got some things, cooked fish, um, that was, that's right. We're also going to be having um, access to this elytra right here. Uh, so you will be able to fly around. And this is my AFK fishing farm for my main base. Uh, sadly, I built it way down here, so it I, it stops right here, you know. That one's good to have. And that is my first dump on shovel, on shovel. I never threw it away. Um, so yeah, that's the main area. I, I think that's pretty much it. I can show you guys where I have most of my food. Um, uh, most of my food is right here. That is the food that is finished cooked. And uh, most of this is going to be moved to the shack that I'm going to build in um, spawn point. So food will be... Um, uh, you will have access to food right from the beginning of this world. Um, and uh, I think that's mostly it for this. Um, oh, my tower. Yeah, my tower is... I like it. I like my tower. Um, it's uh, nothing inside of it. I just built it to take better... Uh, screenshots while up here for my thumbnails. Um, and uh, it does the job, you know? And then we have one more thing to look at while we are here. And that is, down here is my skeleton farm. Uh, which is what I've been using as my experience points farm uh, so far. Uh, we are going to be building a end render, I just got a figure out how and when and um, we actually got dirt down here huh okay that's kind of weird so yeah that 
that's my main area. Now we can take a look at the town we're building, uh, which is uh, named Wintervale. And I named it Wintervale because I was uh, kind of working on a book a couple of years ago where the main, uh, the capital of the country I was creating was named Wintervale. So I just thought it, for myself it would be a nice little um, nod towards that. But um, it's not a book that's ever gonna come out, I think. So let's not talk anymore about that one. This road. Wait, what? Why is there. Did we get shot at? I think we got shot at. Yeah. Okay, uh, so this is the road that leads to um, Wintervale. It's, um, it's pretty long. I should probably have a um, railway going here as well, uh, but um, usually, usually I just fly this way uh, with uh, the elytra, so um, it's a bit easier to get to. Uh, because uh, from spawn point to main base is not as easy to fly to because of stuff. And this is Wintervale. It's, um, this building right here, let's start with this one. It's uh, not finished at all, um, and it's gonna be my farm. On the second floor, we are gonna have melons and pumpkins uh, growing maybe as well as um, cocoa beans, and um, that's that building, but I do like the design that I gave it inside of here, except for these pillars. They will they will have to change, uh, maybe I will use another type of uh, color, but I do think it's gonna be concrete either way, because I do love my concrete. And this building is the first building that we built in this area. It is the, um, look at that, look here, look at that, that's wrong, this is wrong, I did a mistake here, I gotta remember to fix that. Um, anyway, this is the first building I built here, and um, I really do love it. I think it's uh, pretty awesome, and um, kind of different from what I usually build. And it's just my super smoker with a little bit of storage for metals and that kind of stuff. There's also a little bit of food here if you ever do venture out here. So, um, yeah, that's good. Uh, we have quite a bit of materials. So, um, uh, we even got some emeralds. Um, that actually reminds me uh, that, um, yeah, let's take a look at, at this building before we do that. Uh, this is our sugarcane farm. It's um, it's not automatic yet, it's gonna be, uh, but um, this works for now and uh, does the job. And I am going to build uh, decorations in all of this in this type of style. So everything is going to be a little bit better down there, just got to get to it. Then we have the map wall so far uh, over uh, Wintervale. And uh, this map wall is going to be filled up with, well, maps. And I do believe I'm going to have a town in that corner and a town in that corner. And uh, roads going from Wintervale to those two towns. That's at least what I've been thinking so far. Um, and we could actually move this one one over, over here. So that we could also have a town right there. If possible, it's, it's ocean there. So it might be a bit difficult. So let's take a look down this road. Uh, this right here had, was a huge hole. Um, and it was a cave. Uh, and down here we have our mines in Winterwell. 
um, which is a little bit more mined out than in the main base, but that's not the point. Uh, we have at least mined quite a bit here, and um, I do love this area. This area, it, it feels awesome. Then we have this, these two buildings. This is my AFK fishing farm in Wintervale. This time I built it up here so that we could um, make the storage here a bit bigger. We could um, build it downwards as we had to extend it. Uh, I haven't really needed to yet. And uh, I do believe I was AFK fishing yesterday. And I think I got some good stuff. Um, Aqua Affinity. Yeah, we got a Mending Book, for example. Uh, Silk Touch and a few other neat stuff. And this is... Wait, why? What's happened here? It's not supposed to be like this. It's a hole here. <laughs> It wasn't like this yesterday. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly fix it. Let's see, slabs. And there we go, that's better, okay. Oh. Okay, so this is my real storage. And uh, we have a few mob heads. Uh, we have a few things here and there in these chests right here in these not I don't really know what's in those chests so some of them like this and this might be empty but this oh, this what oh there this is full and uh, so on and here we have a few end stuff uh, shulker shells. Um, Horse stuff, and stone, and purple stuff. And then we have a whole lot of uh, random loot. And this one is supposed to be filled up with elytra, so I just haven't gotten around to actually do it. But there is one elytra. I was incredible while I did that. Uh, I did not mean to actually lose it. But there is one elytra in that sign. Which, uh, in survival, you will get, right? So, that's at least something. And here we have a little bit of gunpowder, so rockets can be made. Uh, and I'm also going to be making a cacti cactus farm. And we have a few gas here, so we can actually uh, respawn the dragon. And uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, these guys are gonna be filled up with stone as well. I just don't have enough yet. But um, we did actually at one point have so much stone that I started to fill up the, one of these, I think. And then I started to build again and um, used a lot of it. There. Yeah. So we got a few stuff. Uh, these guys I haven't actually made myself, I found them in the end. And then we can take a look at the main house we are using um, in Wintervale. Uh, because, or the house that we usually sleep in, it's not decorated or anything. But it, I do love how it looks. I really love this house. It's, um, I love it, you know, it's, uh, it's really amazing. In my opinion, of course. Uh, down here we got nothing. Uh, up here we got a bed and a, a crafting table and nothing. And up here, this is the best room in all the house. It's completely empty. <laughs> uh, no, but I am going to have some storage uh, around in this house uh, at some point. I just gotta get to it. So that is Winter Vale. Um, yeah, so let us take a look at 
the end. I haven't done a lot there, but it's a world tour. This room actually I spent a, quite some time on it, and um, I think it looks really awesome. So, uh, I'm just taking a sip of my coffee. And, um, yeah. Okay, let's go to the end. Uh, because we don't have anything else to show yet. It's gonna be a whole lot more at some point, but as it is right now, it's not that much to show. Um, although in 25 episodes what I've done is quite a lot. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty pretty awesome what we've done so far. And uh, I do hope that I can um, continue to work on this. And um, continue to grow as a builder. And um, never losing faith in what I do, because I am having a really good time so far, and um, yeah, this is the end portal, and uh, I do want to change how the end, how this portal room in itself looks, uh, and we have a creeper here, but that's not good, I just want to take care of him real quick. There, he's taken care of. And, um, it's not a lot, but I do want to change out how things look here. And uh, let's also take a look up here, because uh, I did do a few things up here. Not a lot, I just made sure that we can, <laughs> that we can get um, wood. And I do think I transported sheep from here to main base, I think, I'm not 100% sure. And this village is... well, it's a village. And, um... When I first found the portal, I was kind of befuddled because it was in a village, you know? But, um... yeah. We also have... I haven't thought about this. We can get a lot of sand here. And get a lot of glass. That's something we're gonna have to do. Um, okay. Because uh, we need sand for the cactus farm, you know. But, oh well. Let's take a quick look in the end. And, um... Yeah. I'm gonna have to be able to make an end render here, so I kind of just want to see if down here would be the right way to go. I think so. Uh, but here we fought the dragon, and we died one time, I think? One death? I haven't taken the egg here because I already got two from killing the dragon. Uh, and here we were kind of having a rough time getting into the portal. Um, at one point I actually think we fell down after being attacked by an Enderman. And uh, luckily we had, a, we had a, a letter from killing the dragon, so we could just fly back up. I think it was something like that. Don't think I died here. Um, yeah, that is my world so far. Um, it's nothing special, but it's my baby. I love this world. Um, so yeah, if you want to play on this world along with me, check down in the description because there might be a download link for this world. And um, yeah, I, th I think that's it. Okay. So if you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and um, don't forget to have a good day. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and 
I will see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye-bye.